jump right into the video. First, I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Photo Eleven Primer. Next, I'm going to take these Iman foundation sticks and I use two different shades. I use the uh, Earth 1 and Earth 3 shade and I use the Earth 1 shade on my lighter areas and I use the Earth 3 shade on my darker areas and I just blended that out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee and I'm going to go under my eyes. Um, that's just where I try to cover and conceal those dark circles and I'll go down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow as well as my chin. Um, for my beginners, if you don't really want to try um, such a bold and bright highlight, I would go with the concealer that's similar to the shade of your foundation um, and that's just going to help you know get a better coverage under your eyes. Next, I'm going to take the Iman Foundation Stick in the shade Earth 7. This is the darkest shade that they had in um, the store. I got this from Target, and I'm just going to use that to contour my face. Now I'm just going to take my Real Technique stippling brush and I'm going to spray that with Matte Fix Plus. This kind of just helps um, this, the contour blend a little bit better and I'm just going to go in and blend all of that out. So when and out, when and out, I can't talk today. So when blending out your um, highlight, you want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp as well as clean. Um, this just helps get the helps get the best coverage. Lord, I cannot talk today. to take my MAC Skin Perfecting Powder in the shade Medium Deep and I'm going to go in and press that powder on my highlighted areas to act as a setting powder. So the purpose of taking your setting powder and carving out your contour is to create a very clean and sharp contour. This just acts um, as a way to create those really strong structured cheekbones like most people like. And then I'm going to go in um, with the Black Radiance Press Powder and it's in the shade Ebony. This is actually a shade uh, darker so I kind of should have went in with the lighter shade but I'm going to take that and set my contour.
So normally I do this step like first, but I just didn't for this tutorial. But I'm going to take my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, and this is a lip plumper, and I'm just going to use that as a primer for my lips. So I'm going to take my Black Radiance Baked Blush in the shade Toasted Almond. This step is completely optional, but I like using blush because it just brings the warmth uh, back to the face or a warmness back to the face after doing contouring and highlighting because that can create sometimes a just dual flat look. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Precise Liner and basically I'm going to line my top lash line. Um, I'm not really doing a wing at all but I am going to create an inner cat eye. Um, this is just something that I normally do when I don't feel like doing a wing liner. I try to give my look, my look, my eyes some sort of dramatic look. So I'm just going in and doing that. Now I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner and I'm just going to put that into my waterline, well my bottom waterline. I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Carbon Black Mascara, I'm just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Vegas Nail Lashes and Shining Star, and I'm just going to apply those. Now I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in the color Dark Tan. And I'm basically going to go in and set some of those highlighted areas. I don't usually or normally set under my eyes, but I usually set all the other areas just to kind of tone it down because I don't want it super, super bright. So y'all, this is my new baby. This is the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. And I'm taking the shades Amber Gold and Hot Sand and I'm applying that to the highest points of my cheeks, down my nose, on my cupid bow, and under my eyebrow. Now y'all, this is on the expensive side. When I tell y'all this product is so worth it, like look how disrespectful that highlight is. And I mean that in the best way possible, okay? So for my lip combo, these tips are kind of choppy and I'm actually just feeling pretty lazy and don't feel like starting and stopping to talk. So what I'm going to do is look the products that I use for my lips below and then I'm going to spray my face with a Mac Fix Plus spray to set and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye loves. Bye.